Hello fellow Leongers. Today let's go over some custom sections. Um, so powerful, there's so much you could do with them. It, you're just, it's, uh, it's really great. I mean, if you want to create your own classes and reuse them, you really you want to be using custom sections. And they're very, very easy to lay out, particularly once you start using them and start playing with them. They're very powerful. Okay, let's, uh, let's create one. We're going to call this, we'll call it, uh, Custom VFP. We'll use VFP scripting. Let's go south when that would finish it up. Okay, we're going to create this guy. So we're going to come down to sections, custom, there's a Fox Pro. Now there are two ways that you could look at the code behind here or work with the code that you're going to be looking at. One is by using the little keyboard icon over here. The other, the easy way to get there is switch between the apps workspace. All right, um, we've got our namespace up here. Now the main class has been defined for you. It's got, a, it's got placeholders to put all your code if you want to put them in there. And down here for the section, there's even a little uh, example to show you how to go ahead and build it. We're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it from scratch. So usually when I do stuff from scratch, we make some errors. So maybe we'll be able to get look and see how you troubleshoot it as well. Once we have a section, we need to add a container. Everything's within containers, and you can nest containers. You can do horizontal, vertical. You can, you can really, you know, keep nesting them to your heart's content. It it, uh, it works very well. I even use empty containers when I want to separate parts of the screen. And maybe we'll do that. All right. So let's let's first add an object here. So we have our section. We're going to add object, and we'll just call it the first object we're going to add is our container, and we'll call it container one. That's the name that we're giving it, and then we got to put in the the uh, class that we're using. Okay, and the class is container. Now, in order to use a container, you've got to do two things to it. Um, you've got to set the layout. So let's set the layout. We're going to set it to horizontal. And then we're going to set the size. You've got to do both things in order to use it. We'll just auto size it. Auto size equals one. And then I like to do container.show. And I also like to set the back color. This way I know that it got picked up properly. Okay. Um, all right, we can save the object and we can save the file. We'll have a look at it. Okay, it did not come up as blue. So let's see, what did I, what did I fat finger or type in wrong? We created the object. The layout is horizontal, auto size. Boom. There you go, typo. All right, we'll save that. We'll have a look at it. Great, now we're there. Um, we could have looked at the errors before if I would have rerun it, but I didn't. Okay, let's add a button. Now what we want to do is we want to define our own button class, and then we want to subclass that and use that. So let's uh, find class. Third button has command button. And we want to we'll put an end define there. And let's put a uh, a click proc in there. Click method. Okay. And here we could just put a little Leonja. Sorry. I'll get there. On to show message button button was clicketed okay um, define class her button as command button okay so we're, we're subclassing the command button we've got a click proc in there which just shows us a message so let's add that to the container so we're going to add container one dot add object and we'll call it 
button one. Okay, and remember we're subclassing the herb button. So there's her button. Container one dot add object to her button. And um, all right, let's see if that came up. There it is. We got big button here. All right, let's click on it. Button was clicked. Let's make it a little, a little prettier. Let's do button one. I'll just, okay, there we go, click me. Let's add, you know what we'll do? We're gonna add a blank container, just because I wanna move the button over. I just want to illustrate how you can position things in here. Now we've got a blank container in there. Um, you could do horizontal, vertical. There's so many things that you can do with it. The idea was just to kind of show you a quick introduction on how to use custom pages. All right, um, hope that was interesting enough. There's so much more you can do with it. And when I get the time, I'll probably make a much larger video, but this is just a quick introduction on how to get those pages to work. All right, hope you enjoyed, Herb.